I'm here with Chef Bill, who is going to be making an amazing gluten-free, dairy-free lobster bisque. He's going to explain. The key to this is real lobster. So we've shelled three one and a quarter pound lobsters and we've got them cooking in a stock pot. I added a little bit of seafood uh, broth for a little extra flavor. All the lobster components and some thyme and an onion. And then we're going to take some shallots. We will be sauteing them. Just want to show you the whole lobster meat out of the shell. Then there's some other ingredients like some tomato paste and we will continue. And Our stock is just about cooked down and ready to go. Our lobster has been sautéed with some onions, thyme, and shallots, and we have some super steamed rice ready to go in for thickening. The next step, we've got about three ladles full of lobster stock in the Vitamix. Then we're taking the sautéed lobster and shallots about two full shallots sautéed, get all those drippings from the oil in there. And then about a cup of, I use brown uh, basmati rice and we're going to use this to thicken. There's no reason to make any kind of a gluey roux or anything like that. And we're going to pour this in to what is going to be our lobster bisque. Next we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of regular tomato paste, organic tomato paste. Then we're going to use, we used Kite Hill non-dairy almond cream cheese. And we're going to add that into our mix for the creamy bisque texture. And here it is, just whisking it over a low heat. I forgot to mention a couple drops of cayenne pepper or um, picante uh, sauce to give it just a tiny bit of kick and it's beautiful, creamy, non-dairy and gluten-free.